Welcome back to Pacific Drive, where we have just finished the objective that took us careening through a portal and Oppie risked our life, but we made it. And now we are trying this Tinker Station. Wait, I don't know what it is. It's all new. Let's try it. We're going to diagnose the car. What seems to be the problem? My mouse doesn't work. It seems to be the problem. Because I have to use arrow keys. Oh, wow. And it's like old school stuff. So do we have a problem? Oh, yes. Yes, we do have a problem. The horn is honked when I close the trunk. When the trunk closes. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Let's try it. Yes. Oh, I have to enter. Oh, nothing is correct? Oh, no. Okay, let's, maybe it's changed. Let's back out. Okay. Let's go. I'm not sure what the problem is then. Right? If I open this, it was happening before. Nope. Wait a minute. The horn is honked. Wait, no, don't get in the car. What? No. Okay, let's try again. Absolutely. The horn is... Hey, I got it right. Come here, Tinker Station. Don't you sass me. Horn. Is honked. Is honked. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's try this. Trunk is closed. Horn honks. Oh. Okay. Okay. I just did it backwards. Okay, and then up in the upper right, you can see there, because I can't use my mouse, fixes is flashing, so we're going to hit E. Trunk is closed. Horn honks. We need a mechanics kit. Diagnostics required. No physical... Okay, mechanics kit. So we're going to select that. Missing ingredients. Oh, I have to go make a mechanics kit. Okay, tab to close. Let's go make a mechanics kit. Let's do that right here. Mechanics kit. Okay, now we'll go back to the Tinker Station. This is kind of neat. So, oh, P. There it is. Okay, I don't have to do it again. So now we're going to say select, fix the quirk. I mean, I kind of think it's cool. Wait, let's go. I think on... Yeah, doesn't it say quirks? Quirks. See that? <laughs> Status monitor. Tend to your wounds at the first aid station. Visit the friendly dumpster. Repair car. See, it says quirks. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Whoops. Oh, that's how... Okay, last episode I was having trouble with the to-do and the driver's checklist. So now I know how to fix that. Okay, we're going to go E. Select this. Yes, let's fix it. Oh, car whisperer. Nice. Diagnostics required. So we apparently have another problem, but I don't know what it is yet. So let's let's get out of here for now. We're gonna fix everything up. Wait, let's actually go back to here. There we go. Tend to our wounds. Okay. Repair the car. Let's get some putty. Six and a half hours later. So as part of doing the the driver's checklist, I upgraded our car pretty substantially. So basically every panel is steel, uh, as is every door, with the exception of the, the two front doors, which are insulated. So that should give us a lot more durability. So let's just check the difference here. So we're going to go over to the workbench. And if we go look at the crude door, it has a... Health 30, impact resistance 0, versus the steel door has a health of 40 and still impact resistance of 5%. Um, oh, hey, but this thing down here shows us what we have installed. So, plus 15% electrical resistance, looks like maybe plus 15% impact resistance. No radiation resistance, I'm guessing. And then, this is interesting, this has plus 5% here and plus 10% here on what I'm calling impact. It also has plus 15% electricity, so I don't, I don't really know how to interpret this because 
this should oh maybe this means electricity doesn't hurt the driver who knows what that means anyway that's what we that's what we've installed um, the panels same deal except we have steel panels so and same same thing they have impact resistance or the crudes have impact resistance of five and health of 30 and the steels have health of 40 and impact resistance of 10 so so you can see everything we've got installed here and this is actually nice because then I can check uh, then I can check to see that I've got everything consistent this is really weird that they have different values but anyway so that's where we are and if we go check the driver's checklist so I obviously I did all this without well, actually I did record it but I cut it all out we've done everything here except we don't have enough road flares and we have visited the friendly dumpster like approximately a billion times but I'll go do it one more time before we take off because our next objective is to uh, take another drive as you can see in the upper right hand corner there okay friendly dumpster are you giving us anything you are not so I'm not surprised so I feel like we're pretty good I want to make sure we have some putty we have some putty we don't have a mechanics kit maybe we should make one of those let's go make that mechanics kit and we should still have the I didn't look because I'm not really paying attention because I'm just lame uh, we should have, yeah, here's a battery jumper. Let's put the mechanics kit in here. We have our relightable flare. We have two actual flares. And we have our flare gun. We have a lot of flare stuff, except we don't actually have the flares that I, I like to use. I will try to use the relightable flare. So, I'm not gonna bring a ceiling kit. I feel like it's pretty large for, in terms of taking up space. Whoops, hold on. I got in the car again without, without scheduling our drive. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, where should we go? It just says, take another drive. So E1, wow, what is this glowing business? Is this where Anomaly we went through was? What was your name? Cappy. This is, is this where Cappy is? Look, there's bunnies on the map and some gas station. Oh, I wonder if these are happy hares or something. Anyway, we've been to E5 a lot. So why don't we try, what is this one? Are the conditions any different? We don't know. Didn't, weren't we able to find some conditions before? Whatever, we have one scanner charge, whatever that means. Let's try this destination. Or is this one closer? No. These are all damp forest, junction E7, this is E5. Let's try junction E4, why not? Okay, destination plan. Oh, oh, we already know it has an abductor and a left right view if, if you look in the lower right hand corner there. And can we find out? Route analysis. Okay, I don't know what half that stuff means. I'm assuming if you play this game, you do know. But we are now going to go. I'm going to go to E4. Let's hop in. And let's close the back door. <laughs> let's hop in. And turn on the car. Put it in drive. Turn on our headlights. Honk the horn for good measure. Oh, let's turn on those wipers. And head into the zone. Into the zone we go. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Uh, let's go. Travel. So I guess we're gonna arrive at 8 a.m. because I think it said it's gonna take three hours. Dumpster diving, remember to check the dumpster by the auto shop's rear door between drives. Okay, back roads, junction E4, back roads, remote, damp forest, outer zone. Okay, okay we're gonna take a look at our map. So here we are, so we're up here. There are three anchors. And I think we should just explore around. We're gonna set waypoint there. We're gonna set the anchors. Oh, I'm sorry, we're gonna pull out the anchors and then we're gonna go ahead and, and get to the link gateway. And we're gonna exit, only this time I won't be halfway across the map when we get to the link gateway or when we set the link gateway. I assume that's just stones. So I set uh, a waypoint on that first building. Okay, let's find out if this is an actual oh, anomaly. Moly, holy moly, are you kidding me right now? What? Oh, what, Tobias? You saw it too, didn't you? Tell me you saw it too. What did we see? What? what do you mean, what? The hallucinations, <laughs> like the ones from 1961. It happened again, just a quick blip, like blinking your... Wait, you didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right, because sending the driver headfirst into Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. I was 
spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us. Specifically... Yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. <sighs> That's impossible. It's been 40 years. How old are these people? Okay, there's something strange going on. I think we have another quirk. Check this out. When I'm going to go over here. Check this out. When I turn left, the lights go out. Okay, and I also was able to scan. It says, take another drive. Okay, I was able to scan in the log. Well, okay, this is a normal quirk. So over its lifetime, the car can develop quirks, ranging from the curious to the supremely annoying. Sometimes you, something you're doing may be causing something else to happen. Perhaps even two things. Perhaps even a chain of things. Excuse me, I'm talking. We picked up its waveform. And it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnant's waveform. They're paired signals. Okay. It means they're related. And, and, and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. A oh, interesting. A destructive interference. <laughs> this is insane! After all this time, we find a remnant, uh, a lead on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Bitch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. The remnants. It was a key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. <clears throat> I... I need to go. This is you, Francis! We have so much work to do! I know, I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, the driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 be careful. Oppie's not in a right mind, okay? So, uh, watch yourself. Okay, we will. Thanks, guys. So, I was busy reading journal entries, but while they were talking to us, I scanned this thing over here. It's called some kind of mist. We'll check it in a minute, but I'm trying to scan this thing that looks like a... A wheel. I mean, a, a, a saw. A table saw. It's called a can opener. Okay. Let's get back in the car. Yeah. Oops. Did I hit C again? No. Warning. No scan target. I'm not trying to scan. Why are you telling me that? Okay. There it is. Okay. So, let's check our log. We'll finish what I was reading, which was quirks. So, uh, let's start it again. Over its lifetime, the car can develop quirks, ranging from the curious to the supremely annoying. Something you're doing may be causing something else to happen. Perhaps even two things. Perhaps even a chain of things. Pay close attention to your car, and you'll have to diagnose what's wrong before you can fix it at the Tinker Station, which we did, and I think we actually know our second quirk, unless this is a new one. Charting roads in the zone. To make your way through the zone, you must chart the roads for yourself. The route planner displays the junctions currently stable enough for a drive. Be aware, some routes will pass through multiple junctions as they take you on your way toward opening a gateway. During each drive, you can scan many unusual things you encounter and fill out your logbook. If you make it back through the gateway, these readings will be uploaded and used to identify hazards and resources along future routes. Well, that means we need to survive. It's not good enough just to, to scan them and then die, which I guess makes sense. The junction you return from will also be saved, expanding the areas of the zone that you have access to, if the conditions are right. Sizzling mist. Okay, this is all the anomalies. Sizzling mist, which we just scanned right in front of us, the blue thing. Memo. F-A-O. I guess that's for the attention of... Dr. Lopez, December 2nd, 1965, addendum. You were right. The presence of concentrated plasma particles is what makes the cloud so conductive. This isn't a storm like an electrical storm like, we, like we'd expect to find in the skies above, and we do well to stamp out such colloquial descriptions. No, this is something else, something both more intense and yet also so much more localized. I think with a little time, it'll be quite possible for us to replicate some of this behavior in a lab setting, budget permitting, of course. God, isn't this exciting? Our research is finally paying off. We'll get tenure for this, for sure. Or you'll get killed. Can opener. Transmission fragment. Origin unknown. Date unknown. Can anybody hear us? We're still inside the cabin. One of those things is tearing up the ground outside, and it doesn't stop. It went through Baxter like... Like when you walk through tall grass. Like he wasn't there. Oh, God. Come in. Come in, Control. Can you hear us? You have to understand, they escaped containment. The anomalies escaped. They escaped. They all escaped. They all escaped. Pothole. That was the stone thing. Answer phone message transcript. Origin unknown. February 12th, 1966. Hey, boss. So I'm out here working with Mira and Tobias from maintenance. 
and I'm afraid I've got some bad news about our gear. We've run into some trouble, and I don't think we're getting it back anytime soon. Sorry, bad start for my first potholing job. Call me when you get this, or better still, I think you should just come down here and see for yourself. Our tools, our signs, our lights, they've all... taken flight, so to speak. Huh. Really, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. You should see this. You know how you told me we were normal people working in a very abnormal place? I think I know what you mean now. And I wonder if this is the same Tobias we we're talking about. So, Tobias was from maintenance. Tinker Station. If your car ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it is malfunctioning in, in some unusual way, this will help you understand how. Okay. Okay, wow. So, here we are. If you look just quickly at our map here, where our waypoint is here, I went. I took a turn to demonstrate the, the light issue, but the, the quirk. But we're going to go back, because I want to get over by these... Uh, anchors. So let's turn around. Oops. Okay. Had it parked. Okay. Also, I apparently turned it off. Okay. Well, I'm nothing if not consistent. Oh, is that another anomaly? Wait a minute. Hold on. Look at that. So much stuff to see. Okay. Let's take a look. So, oh, this is just more sizzling mist. Okay. Is it lighting? Is it the cause of all that light? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see now. I don't know what we can do with these anomalies. I mean, so far, every single anomaly is one we've wanted to avoid, including Cappy, which <laughs> we probably should have avoided, but Oppie is a little bit crazy. Okay, so here I'm going to turn left again. Yeah, and see the light dims or goes out. So, we... Oops, now I'm swerving. So, and we've already scanned this anomaly here although I don't recall what it's called. Because, you know, that was like 15 minutes ago or whatever. Or maybe it was an hour. Alright. Just trucking down the road here. Let's, um... Harvest the parts from this car. Is that... What is that up ahead? That looks like the thing that was in... On the way to Cappy. We'll go up there and scan that in just a moment. First, let's rip this car apart. We'll take all of that, thank you. And we got a couple more flares, which is awesome. Uh, there we go. We'll take all of this apart. And I'm going to try to be more efficient with my picking up. Okay, there's no panel here. Let's pick up all this stuff from the back. Uh, oh, there's the tire. I should have chewed that apart before before I picked up the other stuff. Yeah, I, when we go back to the fabrication thing, if we have the power for it, I think we should definitely see if we can find the thing that... Hey, what? Oh, we hadn't logged that yet. Okay. Ab oh, abandoned car? How? Really? Anyway, alright. Uh-oh. We're in danger. Okay, we'll be back to read this in a second. Why are we in danger? Are we t oh, we're exposed to rats. Okay, we'll read the abandoned car thing in a moment. Okay, let's pick this stuff up. Oh, we got a steel plate. What? Wait, I can do the whole abandoned car? No, what does that even mean? Okay, our health. Let's see, at 2.5k rads, our health is ticking down, but not terribly. So I will get these parts. Oh, I'll take that part. Let's see. So, in the time that it takes me to take apart this tire... It looks like our health dropped by maybe three and a half or four percent. We do have... I actually forgot to make a first aid kit, but I think we have the stuff to do it. And we do have uh, a good deal of canned food. So we should be okay. The canned food is like 12 percent health. I think the first aid kit is 50. But we're going to definitely try to get away from this, uh, this radiation. Okay, let's get in here. That should protect us. So what we'll do is we'll drive up to this anomaly. Since we since it's on our path anyway. Oh, it looks like there's another one of those can opener things. Maybe. It doesn't have the red. Oh, wow. It's another it's okay. Okay, this is a little bit concerning. You can see there's some radiation out there. Oh, let me, I keep forgetting to turn off the lights. That's going to eat our battery. Although, we, oops, we do have a jumper. Okay. 
Let's, uh, can we scan this? Anomaly. Okay, that's called the Glittering Boulder. We're gonna get back in the car because of the radiation. And that will, be, that will protect us. So now we're gonna go to the logbook. And... Oh, we're on car components. We're on car abilities, we've read that before. Okay, Glittering Boulder. Transmission Fragment. Art of Dispatch Headquarters, April 26, 1964. <laughs> hey, this is Anna. I'm totally going so fast right now. Oh no, oh no, it's happened again. Just out collecting some data from the weather stations and oh no, there are these new things out here that, oh, help. If you touch them, you, uh, oh no, hold on, Charlie. Look, I'm not an engineer or a physicist. I'm a meteorologist, but my guess is these things are discharging huge amounts of energy into whatever they touch, and when they hit a car, you can totally go so fast. Hold on, Charlie. So uh, my suspicion there is that we can go up this ramp. Abandoned car. Abandoned car. Transmission fragment. Art of Field. Headquarters, October 9th, 1968. I guess I'm, I guess I'm saying what we all know is obvious by now, but all vehicles, all moving collections of metal really seem to attract the attention of a great many anomalies. They get chased, they get attacked for whatever reason, they get picked apart. I guess aircraft move too fast, or maybe helicopters aren't around for long enough, but cars? This place, and it's wildlife, just loves cars. Sorry, what? Okay, correction, it's not wildlife. What? Why? Engender sympathy? Look, I'm only repeating what other people say. No, I don't think it's bad to say this over the radio. It's not like our transmissions even travel anywhere these days. It's like trying to broadcast through molasses or something. I could be on top of a mountain and still get no damn reception. Trust me, nobody outside the zone can hear us. All right, all right, keep your cap on, you New England nut bar. This? This is exactly why nobody likes you. Wow, harsh, huh? Okay, so... I suppose we have no choice but to... Go. Oh, there's another one over there too on that on that pick on um, that tow truck. But I suppose we have no choice but to race up this thing. So we gotta honk our horn, of course. Here we go. Boom! That was me honking the horn. It did not do it automatically. We just sort of wiped out with all of our momentum. But we jumped over that rock. That was cool. Okay. Okay, and we're still on our on our path here. I'm not sure why I'm so eager to get to the anchors. Oh, oh, look at that! It's all surrounded by weird zone stuff. I don't see any radiation. Is there something we can scan here? Whoa! Oh. What did it say? That's just... Oh, it's just a pothole? Oh, yeah, the stones are floating there, but what... Okay, there's a backpack. Let's take a look. We'll take all this fabric. And that flare, of course. This is a dumpster? Okay, let's use our relightable flare. No, that's some creepy-ass growing thing. We saw a few of those somewhere else in a different zone. Oh, okay, now we've got 2.5k rad. We can see it... Uh, because the, our screen has funky lines on it. There's a phone here. Can we scrap it? We sure can. I'll take that, thank you. Oh, and we needed copper wire to make a reusable flare, so now we have that. I'm not sure it was worth the price here. Because we're taking damage. I'm going to have to heal. And we can't get in the door, can we? No. Okay, let's put our... Uh, let's put our scrapper away. Open you up. We can craft another relightable flare, so I think we should just do it so we have the extra. We'll go to inventory, put everything over here. Oh, shoot. There we go. Put everything in here. And you know what? I am going to... No, I guess I'll leave the flares where they are, but this one, we can move there. Okay. At some point, I just want to fire off the flare gun, just because we can. Oh, I should have made a um, healing kit. Oh, I didn't bring any of the canned food? Darn it. Okay, let's see what we can do here. 
Okay, we have a healing kit, so let's just use it. That'll get us up to 98. Did that work? Yes. And then this we're gonna we're gonna now carry some canned food. Okay, we are. We're, I, I can clear the. I can clear the waypoint, although I can also put it here. Um, we are close to the anchors, so we may or may not pull the anchors and go. Let's see how things go. I don't really want to get ahead of myself. But I wouldn't mind doing a little more research. Back, right back into the fabricator. Is this... Is this a different anomaly? I'm gonna leave the car running for a second. No, this is not... Oh, but there's a house here. Okay, let's turn off the car. Okay, we're parked. Car is off. Uh, we might need to come back here for a scrapper, but let's take a look at this house. Okay, we've got a little bit of radiation again. Darn it. Whoops. There we go. Okay, nothing of consequence. This house was on the map. Although maybe... Maybe... Can we get in? Oh, we can. Okay, let's open the door. Whoa, whoa, I just fell off? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I can hear a radio. I don't know I don't know if that's our car. We'll take all of that, thank you. Toolbox, very nice. The relightable flare is actually so bright it's a little difficult to use. So much glare from it. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, it is from our car. Interesting. Yeah, that was the other house. Okay. Let's back up. And here we go. It looks like we could go across this field here. And avoid this... Um, what is this? The, what's this fog? Whatever this fog is called. Um, Yes, that, ha that does hold some appeal for me. Whoa. Look, there's like a light post here or something. This is not an actual tree, is it? Oh, no, it is. I mean, it's supposed to be a perch. Okay. Which way can we go here? Okay, let's go like this. Okay, it's not GTA. Alright, come on now. Okay, I don't want to go through this anomaly. That seems just stupid. Oh no. Oh no. No, we're sliding. We're in the anomaly. The car does not like that. Oh no, that was unwise. Okay, I'm not going to stop for that car. I'm not going to stop for that one either. Let's take a look at this uh, tower. There's a part of me that wants to run through the anomalies to find out what they do. But I'm currently telling that part of me to, to hush it. Ah! Backpack. Take all that stuff. Let's turn on our flare. Yeah, this relightable flare is great. Uh, tree here. Oh, there's an anchor right there. Okay. What what was that? What was that? Oh, it's just the anomaly? Yeah, it's a left right. Okay, watch out, left right. Is this a chest we can get into? It sure looks like it. Oh yeah, some duct tape and a battery. Okay, we're gonna turn off the flare. I'm not going to pick up the anchors yet. Plus, that's sort of a shortcut to the anchor. Oh, shoot. Wait. Wait. Oh, we're... Oh. Oh. There's another anchor right here. And we've got this tow truck. Well, we might as well... 
Scrap this tow truck. We can use the parts, of course. Our scrapper, in fact, is going to be scrapped in a moment. Come on. Yeah, I wonder if I should explore more, or if I should... Oh, hello. Oh. wonder if I should explore more, or if I should... Just pull the anchors and take the energy. Well, whatever, we're gonna have to go make a new scrapper. And I think we determined that the impact hammer does not work on tires, but we can use it on some other stuff. Okay, let's try though. See. Oh, it does a tiny bit of damage. We're not going to waste it on that. Let's see what it does to the steel door. Oh, it does some damage, but that's it's really the wrong tool for that job. So let's put that away. And what is this? Oh, it's just a concrete blocker or barrier. Okay, we're gonna make a scrapper. There we go, whoops, there we go. Take that, thank you. We'll leave the trunk open, because why not? Activate our scrapper. Yeah, the scrapper definitely does the job here. Is that a steel plate? I think it is. Oh, inventory full. Oh. Oh, because steel plates are large. Okay, let's take apart this other stuff. And then we'll come back for the plates. That's not, that summer tire is in bad shape. We've got at least two steel plates we can come back for. As far as all steel doors. Okay, so let's run back over here. Oh, we got some glass shards out of that too. Let's go here. We're going to transfer everything over. In fact, we're going to move... We're going to move the impact hammer for now and the relightable flare, so we can pick up those steel plates. Take this, thank you. Oh, they're steel sheets. But, same idea. Aha! More stuff hiding in here. Okay, now we can scrap the rest of this tow truck. Thank you very much. It's gas. Ooh, has a lot in there? No, it has basically nothing. Okay, we'll get this final tire. Nope, we won't. There's no tire there. That's the tow truck. And the car all set. Okay, so the question is, do the steel sheets stack? Oh, look, there's a car over there. Kind of up the hill. Oh, there's cars all up and down that hill. Interesting. Okay. They do stack. We went from one to three. Okay, how's our scrapper? It's in good shape. I'm not gonna take the impact hammer. I don't want the relightable flare. We are gonna go check out this car. Actually, I'm gonna check out the yellow car further up. This maybe, because it's further up and yellow, maybe it has other stuff in it. It has a roof rack on it. Okay, all steel. Take that, whoops. What I, I, okay, transfer that. Take you, take you. Never gonna say no to flares, I'll tell you that. Hmm. 
Hey, okay, there's some gas in here. Hey, is this stuff rolling away? Oh, hey. All right, well, we'll go after it in a minute. What, I lost the car? How did I lose the car? But, but, am I on the car? How did I lose the car? Oh. Well, it is pretty well hidden, I guess. Armor door? Wait. Abandoned Squire. Transmission fragment. Origin unknown. Date unknown. Hi, I'm Gil O'Hanlon, and I'm here to tell you why the O'Hanlon Squire is the perfect sedan for all your contract needs. O'Hanlon has over a decade's experience providing utility vehicles for state and federal needs, and with the Squire, we think we've really outdone ourselves. This affordable, reliable, and easily maintained vehicle boasts excellent handling and performance. Thanks to its 183 cubic inch straight six engine, four speed transmission, and advanced assisted steering. This is a car that's easy to drive, easy to look after, and as comfortable in the heat of New Mexico as the freezing forests of Wisconsin. Now, come with me as I take you on a tour of what will be the government's next and best all-purpose automobile. And then there's something over here. I don't know why I'm still surviving, still dodging the end. Maybe it's hope, maybe it's a thought of you. If I could just see you smile, we could at least recognize the beauty of this place together. I've been completely awe, I've been completely in awe since, well, since I've been here and for so long now, I've just, maybe that's music or we're just overhearing something. Oh, wanted to share it with, I guess I just wanted to tell you. If you have someone there with you, be present with them. Don't let anything distract. I guess I've realized now that I'm, it's gone, that that's the meaning. And if you're alone like I am, I love you. I'm thinking about you. What are we hearing right now? Look at that stuff in a minute. Okay, that was a little bit weird, just coming out of nowhere. Although when we flew through Cappy, oh, yeah, when we flew through Cappy, we did get a weird transmission through the air. It was hard to hear, but you could see the text. Well, actually, I couldn't hear it at all, but you could see the text. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Down the hill is going to be a lot of stuff for us. Okay. Well, let's go see if we can get it. This sheet? Oh, I'll take that steel sheet. It's all that stuff down here. Didn't seem like we got anything special out of the armored. Oh, oh look, it's one of the hearts from from the tourists. Thermosaf crystal. Uh, it didn't seem like we got anything special out of the armored car, armored door. But it might be that we did and it just rolled away. Well, oh, here's some more stuff. Okay, let's go look at this car. Yeah, that Squire was pretty neat. Okay, let's go look at this car, see what's in the trunk. Oh yeah, we'll take all that stuff. Flare, flare, flare. Okay, we now have nine of them. Oh, what is, is this a, a box in the trunk? I don't know. Oh, all right, we'll get that stuff in a moment. This one has a lot of fuel. So this just, I think, is just a normal car. It's not a Squire, so it doesn't really have anything special. Oops. Oh, okay, we can get both these doors. And that's probably going to be it for our scrapper. Okay, we got a lot of stuff. Looks like that's the extent of the parts that we can find. Nope, I lied right there, right there on YouTube for anybody who's watching to hear. Fortunately, this uh, series is not getting a whole lot of views. Nobody, or very few people would have heard me lie. But if you are watching, now would be a great time to subscribe if you have it, or and or to like this video and maybe post a comment. 
I, I certainly welcome constructive criticism. Any kind of suggestions, whether you like the content or, or don't, please let me know. Uh, what is our health? We're going to eat one of these. That should get us up to 100. Now we're going to take this out again and the flare. And we're going to put this away. Okay, so now close you. I'm going to look at the map, but I think we're sitting here on a couple of these. Yeah, and then there's a third one. Uh, I don't know if... No, I guess this is the house we went to. So I think... I think I'm going to grab both of them. Yeah, let's go grab them both. Whoops. Oh. oh. What? What's on the... What's this little TV with a helicopter dropping? What is... Is this a video game? What is this thing? Well, whatever. Okay. Let's go. No, we can put that away. Thank you. Okay, let's grab the closer one. No, let's grab the further one because this is going to incre uh, increase instability. Otherwise known as decreased stability. Oh, okay. Hold on. We have an uh, abductor. That's what that thing is called. And I think I saw a building back here. Yes. This is what... Oh. Okay, that's the can opener anomaly. Whoa, hey. Is this thing, does the abductor only try to abduct uh, cars? Wait, is it trying to abduct the can opener? No. There's the abductor. Is there another one over there? Is this? Wait, what? What? Oh, this, yeah, that's the can opener, but is this a different anomaly right here? Yeah, I think it is. It is. This is called a shaker. We're going to check that out later. I don't really like being near these abductors. This is an old plasma generator. Let's go... We're going to go around the base here. Okay, that's that lightning mist. Oh, okay. 2.5k rad. Okay, so we're going to need to get out of... Oh, just on that side. Okay, let's go up these stairs. Nope, not just on this side. Maybe it's coming from this tower. Okay, but we do have some canned food, so... Oh, okay, perfect, because we have a crowbar, and the crowbar is almost broken. Let's turn on our... Oh, yes, okay. Blackboard. Oh, okay, bunch of stuff up here. Bunch of stuff up here. What is this thing? Nothing we can scan. Nothing we can scan. Can't scrap any of this. Can't scrap any of that. Looks like... Oh. Oh. Big food. MRE. We'll take that. And that. MRE is huge. Okay. Are we... Oh, okay. We're still getting... Being subject to rads. But, well, since we just picked up some food, I'm not super concerned. Oh. But. Okay. Well. Crud. Okay. I had moved all our flares over. And our reusable flare just went out. Let's use this transmuter to create gear. Okay, so we can change gears to chemicals. Okay, but we can't make gears right here. But we can in the car. We can make them out of scrap metal, I think. So let's get out of here. We'll get out of this uh, out of this radi Oop, out of this radiation. Go back to our car. Okay, so we we'll do a couple things. One, we're going to eat this MRE, because it's huge. It only gives 12? Don't you get... Oh, canned food gives 8. Oh, let's check our logbook. Shaker. Transcript taken from the dictaphone of Dr. Kelly Lombard, February 12, 1969. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to remember our esteemed, honored, and oh-so-kind colleague, colleague, Eric Gordon. Taken from us too soon, Eric was a shining light in our lives. Let us remember him for his achievements, his humor, and his grace. Let us remember him how he lived and not how he died, propelled as he was 600 feet into the air by a sudden blast of hot corrosive slime. I know our hearts are all so heavy today, and we only wish Eric could also have been heavier and <laughs> thus not flown quite so far. What the hell am I saying? End recording. End recording. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. The humor in this game is, uh, I really like it. It's my, my kind of thing. Okay, so let's move this stuff over. And we are going to 
use the craft mat to make some gears. Uh, where? Gears. Okay, we're going to make a gear. Okay, we have two in the car and two now in our backpack. Really? We had gears in here? I didn't notice. Oh yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, well, we have plenty of scrap metal, so let's move these over and see if we can turn them into chemicals. Yes, yes I did. Okay. I sure did. When I was going this way, I could drive over here, I suppose, but I don't like the off-roading. We tend to wipe out and then I get all panicky. But, since I'm clearly lost now... Wait, no, this big rock was in the way before. Oh, no, no. Nope, I'm screwing the pooch. Okay, I don't know how to get back to that tower. I don't believe this is the house we went to. Oh, well, we don't have a map, so that's kind of a problem. And I forgot to get our relatable flare. So, that's also a problem. Okay, is this the same house we saw before? Oh my gosh, I ran back to the house we were at. Hey, get... I, I no, actually, because we went into the other house. Well, let's head back to our car. And I think we'll just go for a drive. Oh, 5k rad. No, 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 no. Let's get away from this. Why is there 5k rad right now? Okay, is there something we can see? Oh yeah, there's stuff... No, no. Oh, look at that up there. Okay. Well, we're on our way back to our car now. So we're going to go try to transmute. Just for the sake of transmuting. The notion of transmuting is cool. We're turning steel gears into chemicals. Oh, I still should have brought the flare, though. Or the relightable flare. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. And then how do we... How do we use it? So we exit. Whoa! Oh. Hello. That was cool. What is this bottom thing? I wonder if there's some other item we could put in here. Oh, where'd, where'd, where'd they go? Did, are they on the floor? They are on the floor. Did we get a bunch of them? We got one. Did it, did it spit them out? Oh, should I have done one at a time? And if, I, I can't... Nope, can't be stored here. So maybe we're just supposed to do one gear at a time? That seems pretty cheap. But we're taking damage from the radiation, so... So we're out of here. Okay, well, we transmuted. That was... Um, I'll be honest, a little bit underwhelming. Let's get out of here. Let's check out this building. We're, we're out of the rad zone, whatever it was. Although I suspect we're going to hit more rads. We did. Okay, nothing doing here. Let's go back to our car. Yeah, we're on our way back to our station wagon. So many anomalies here. There's a big part of me that wants to jump on one of these things just to get thrown in the air, like Gil. Oh, let's open this trunk with our pry bar. Wow, look at all those flares. Can't restore here. Okay, thanks. Okay. Steel panel. Well, we're here. Let's do it. Oops, I just threw our scrapper. Okay, I'll take all that. Oh yes, we got a steel sheet. No, I don't care about it. Wow, this fuel tank is full. Steel door. Another steel sheet. Great. I think it, it, it just... I mean, a steel sheet is just made of scrap, I think. But still, I mean, it's free material that we don't have to refine. I wonder what qualifies as taking a... Oh, what? You can scan this? Oh, steel pen. Oh, honey pot? Okay, we're going to read this later because I think we're... Oh, no, no. 
Honeypot. Partial memo. Source. Partial memo. Source unknown. Circa 1967. I don't like the word trap because it implies intent, and intent implies intelligence. A substantial application of intelligence, in fact. Planning. For sure, we have multiple accounts now of what seems to be spontaneous appearance of anomalies apparently triggered by human behavior or investigation. But we must think about this as scientists. Something that happens as a response or reaction of some kind isn't necessarily goal-oriented behavior. It may be no more than the ripples created by a stone falling in a lake, albeit a lake that continues to baffle and be views. We must spend a lot more time recording what the zone does, what these anomalies do, before we begin extrapolating. I don't believe that we're seeing intent or intelligence. I believe we are merely seeing response, unfolding processes no different to weather or complex chemical reactions. We just might happen to sometimes be the catalyst. Okay, all right, sure. I'm not sure why that honeypot showed up there. And there goes our scrapper. So I think we're done with this car. So let, oh, okay. We are going to head. Okay, we're gonna take this. This is why we came here. Okay, we're gonna head to our car. Obviously things are gonna become a little bit crazier. We're gonna put this in the arc device. We're gonna try to get the other one. Oh, shoot. Oh, look, it threw us up in the air. But not like Gil. Hey. Oh, 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 it threw the car up in the air. That is less than ideal. Did we drop our... We must have dropped our... Where's our... Oh, no. No, no, no. You can stop with that business. Where is the... Oh. Where's the anchor? Where's the anchor? Let's have some food, please. Did we lose our anchor? Or did we get it in there? Hey! Oh, my gosh. Okay, excuse us. Okay, we're gonna get in the car. Okay, this is this is every time I do anything in this game, stuff starts going poorly. Oh, oh no, 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 no! Oh no, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. No, abductor. No. Let's put you in the car. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. What is happening? Are we up in the air? No. What? Hey, we're being dragged? Okay, we're going to turn off the car. We are going to get out of the car. We are going to get a flare. In fact, we're going to get this and some flares. So we can throw the flares. Whoops. No, I want... Okay. And now we're going to go here. Can I say drop? X. X, 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 X. This is a really lame way to have to split things. Okay. And then we're going to switch the flares. Actually, we're just going to put the flares in our hands. And if we need to throw them, we will. Okay. Let's take a look here. We lost our our anchor. Is it just rolling around over here? This is this is an anomaly, right? This is not the anchor. We lost the anchor. Unless somehow it got into the arc device. Okay, well let's take this anchor. That's why I was going for the far away one, because I knew things would go nuts once we took an anchor. Oops. Okay. I can't believe we lost the anchor. It's frustrating. Okay, let's open this door. Yeah, we definitely did not successfully get an anchor in there. Will you piss off? No! What? Okay, let's light the flare. Okay, I think I distracted it. Did I distract it? I don't know. I definitely didn't. It's on us, isn't it? No. No, we were just on a slope. Okay, let's go. Okay, what's the red thing on the map? And can... Do I have to abandon the anchor? I guess I do. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here... 
No. Gateway too close. What? What the? Gateway too close. I don't... Oh, 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 okay. That's a gateway we can't take. And... Wait. Wait. It is right here. Okay. Let's get out of the car. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I set a waypoint. I don't know if you saw that because I was doing it quickly. I set a waypoint on the anchor. Oh, did it get... But this is... Wait. Oh, no. This is the anchor we took. So maybe it's still showing up? Or did it somehow... Oh, it magically transported back here. Well, okay. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay. Let's go. To the car. Get out of here, abductor. No. You anomalies, too. Jeez. Okay, I see how this works, where we have to evade all the anomalies on the way there. Oh, look, our car is all the way across the street. Okay. Okay, let's get in the car. No, close the damn door. Okay, Hurricane Squall. What? Okay, I don't think now is the time. Oh, Jesus. What's happening? Okay, all right. Okay, let's start the car. There's that big yellow thing on the map. Okay. No, we definitely do not want to be in a hurricane. So we're going to go out of the hurricane. Forget about the link gateway for now. Yeah, you can throw us in the air. That's fine. No, okay, I guess it's not fine. Can we please move? The car is being ripped apart. Okay, I gotta avoid some of these anomalies. No, come on. Okay, we're going through the hurricane. The hood is in bad shape. Okay, error. It says error. Okay, we're in the hurricane. I think we're gonna die. Because I shouldn't have gone through the hurricane. Let's see if we can get out of the hurricane. Okay, I don't know why the wipers are on. Oh, I can't turn them off. Okay, I think I'm heading out of the hurricane. I mean, it might be spreading, but... Okay, alright, let's see if we can get to a little bit of a safe area. And then fix up the car a little. Yeah, caution, caution. Okay. Okay, what's... Where's the hurricane? Oh, it's moving. Okay, okay. We're gonna... Yeah, we'll... Okay, stop, stop. Thank you. Okay, let's get let's get out and get some putty. Putty? Yes. And just in case we need the mechanics kit. No. This. Thank you. Okay, let's fix the hood. Yeah. And also a bumper. Uh-huh. Okay, how are our lights? I don't want to have to remake them. Okay, we're just going to heal all this stuff up. Okay, we did survive that hurricane. It looks like it's what you would expect with, like, a tornado or a hurricane. It, it just was passing through. Oh, what's that symbol? Oh, mechanics kit. Okay, it says it's loose. Why can't I equip? Hey. That's already in my hand? No, buddy's in my hand. Okay, we'll come back to you. Insulated door is fine. This one's fine. This panel's doing okay. How are you? You're not in great shape, so let's heal you up. You're not in great shape. I do think we have the materials to make uh, another putty if we need to. Because we just ran out of putty. Okay, let's put the mechanic kit. Oh, what? What happened to our mechanics kit? I, did, I, did I use it and I just didn't realize? No. Ah, uh, really? Where did it go? Is it on the ground? Did I drop it? Okay, let's make another one. Okay, and if we need to, we can make uh, another one as well. Okay. Bang it with that wrench. Thank you. Great. Are you in bad shape? No, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. And... Come on, tire. You're fine. Okay, let's make one more putty. 
So we have it if we need it. Okay, we can't make more putty because we are short of chemicals. Okay, all right. Okay, what else do we have? We have one chemical. I guess we need two, right? All right, well, that doesn't help us. Okay, we're going to hang on to all this stuff. Uh, do we have, oops, do we have first aid kit in here? We do. Let's use this. We can't use, oh, yes, we can. Will it let us? Yes, it did let us. Can we make another one? First aid kit, we can. Okay, but now that used basically all our duct tape. Okay, and we're still healing. We're going to get up to 100%. The hurricane is gone. Should we try to get this third... This third... Uh, anchor? I think we should. I think we should be greedy. I think we should be greedy. I mean, we're very close to it. And, and also, I don't seem to learn my lesson anyway, so... Okay, we just hit something. Isn't there a road right here? A rock? There's a house? Yeah, there should be a road just on the other side of this house. Okay, watch out for that grill. Yeah. Okay. Oh, watch out for that rock. Thank you. Okay, good. We're on our way. We showed them. We should be approaching the anchor. Where is it? Okay. Let's take a look here at the map. Okay, is it on the road or off the road? You know what? I think what I'm going to do is turn the car around point it in this direction because I think we're going to race up to this gateway. Yeah, it's a little circuitous. But, oh no, 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 no. We're going to go to this gateway. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this waypoint. Yeah, I'm going to set this waypoint right there. Then I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to turn the car around because we're going to head the other direction. We're going to go a little bit... Oh, whoa, can opener. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get past the can opener. Get out of the way, can opener. Okay. Now we're going to set ourselves up for success by parking the car, turning off the car, and then heading to the anchor, which I can see it from here. Here we go. I should probably even open the door to the arc device. I wonder what that, those pipes are over there. Well, today is not the day to find out. What the? What? Somebody just throw a hand back at us? What the? Okay, whatever. Let's go. We took it. We're off. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Definitely should have left the passenger side door open. Okay. Oh, there's the door on myself again. Okay, that's all three in this zone. I'm sure we're going to have some weird zone stability issue. Okay, it says we're still stable. Okay, we're going to head to our waypoint. I'm going to have to find some gas, I think. Uh, we don't have a ton of battery left. But we do have that jumper. I wonder what that is up there to the right. We're not going to find out on this run. Just going to take a nice leisurely drive. Whoops. Okay, with a little bit of skidding. Uh-oh. What's beeping? What's beeping? What was that all about? I've certainly learned from my other misadventures to not take any sound lightly in this game. Yes, this is this intersection. We want to go to the next one. See, it's nice and calm. Nice and calm. Nice and easy. Peaceful drive. Nice and easy. I wonder if we get too close, if it won't let us link. 
well, this is how we're going to find out because that would suck, but that would also be a lesson since I'm always really far away when I link. Oh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? Oh, the road is just blocked by all this junk. Oh, look at that. We could jump over that stone if we wanted. But we're only going to do that if we have to run away from something. Nice drive down the road. Leisurely drive through the countryside. Oh! Oh my god, can't open her. Okay. Go, 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 come back. Okay. 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 We're at our intersection. Oh, is that a checkpoint over there? Yes, it is. We don't worry about it. Okay. We're going to actually hit the map. Oh, 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 it takes care of your waypoints if you if you get to them. Okay, so we I can't help myself. We're gonna stop here. Get out of the car. Oh, it looks like wait. Okay, our rear left panel needs repair. Ah, you're okay. Oh, shoot. I need a scrapper. Okay, I'll take all of that. Thank you. Okay. Oh, we got... Okay, good, good, good. We fit everything on our inventory. Hey, this house looks almost lived in. Oh, shoot. My, my headlights are on? Why are my headlights on? No wonder my battery's going down. Jeez. Oh, we'll take all of that for sure. Anything else yummy here? Anything else? Oh, we need to scrap this. Can we use... Can we use this? Oh, oh, I just threw the impact hammer. Great. Four. There we go. Okay. Okay, so for little things, it seems like the impact hammer will work. And obviously for glass. Okay, that's good. Oh, what's this? Okay, we can put away the impact hammer. Uh, for you, those of you playing this game who haven't figured it out, because it, it's frustrating, is you can hit Q to unequip something. Or not unequip it, but to take it out of your hand if it's in your uh, hot bar. Okay, looked like there was some radiation there, but apparently not. Okay, uh, anything else? I don't know what to do with this hand vac. I mean, you know what? If we need a hand vac, we'll go grab it. But we do need a scrapper even though we probably don't need a scrapper until we get back. Or between now and the time we leave, we are going to have a scrapper. And we're going to assign this to slot 3, like usual. Because, oh, this is interesting. Usually V says use a healing item. Oh, maybe because we just aren't eligible for it. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's take a quick look at our map. We're going up this road. There are two houses here. And then there's this thing. And we're going to, even though we can obviously tell where it is. What? No. Oh my god. I almost, I tried to set a waypoint and I almost linked the gateway. That, I did that before. So there's this house. There should be another one across the street. Yes. Okay, let's check out this house. Oh, what's that over there? What is this? Pneumatic deposit box. Wow. Okay, I will take this bulb because I don't want to make one. Um, and I am going to deposit all these flares and see what happens. And I'm hoping that if we make it back... How do I flip it? Wait, can I... Can I flip the switch? Can I flip the switch? Let's see, can I flip the switch? Oh, it, it pointed at something. No. It's unclear to me how to flip the switch. So maybe we don't have to. I actually can't afford to get rid of these flares. They're too valuable. So we're just going to see if there's stuff in the pneumatic tube when we get back. Yeah. Because I can't, I can't risk it with the flares. Okay, we need the crowbar. Get in there. Oh, or the back door. Well, we can use the back door. Okay, and we'll unequip that. 
Oh. Uh. Okay. Anything in here? Oh, just this box. Take all of that. Fabric and duct tape, very nice. Oh my gosh, this thing is so bright. And in the cooler, we have canned food and a battery. And there's another dresser here, right? No, a tool chest. Okay, nothing of consequence. Nothing we can... Oh wait, there's a phone. Copper wire. Did we get electronics out of it? We didn't. I wonder if we get different stuff from using the impact hammer. Well, whatever. There's the front door. We're not going to waste our pry bar on that. Oh, there's a radio up here, though. Let's try the impact hammer on it. Okay. Where'd everything go? Plastic. We just got one piece of plastic. Yeah, I do think the impact hammer doesn't produce as much resources when you break something with it. But also, I'm all turned around now. Where was that radio? Yeah, we, we really got almost nothing out of that radio. Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, so that's that house. Let's go to our... Oh, looks like some rads are up. We're at 2.5k. Okay. Okay, we can turn you off. We'll put stuff in the trunk later. Let's turn the car on. I'm gonna leave the headlights off. We're just gonna head up this road. Is there there is there anything else? There's one more house coming up, and then we're gonna go across a bridge, like on an overpass. How far is that house? Not super far. I'm gonna go around these rocks. Oh boy. Okay. Here we are. Art of Fuel Tanker. Private field notes, Dr. Everett. Date unknown. By the early 1960s, gasoline was vital to the production of electricity. Portable diesel generators became the primary way of powering the majority of structures and equipment within the zone. And we were almost useless without it. Power grids were failing daily, even several times a day. Batteries drained with, pre with preternatural speed and even shielded equipment was frequently degrading or producing inexplicable malfunctions. Entire convoys of tankers crisscrossed the peninsula. We piped in into untold gallons of the stuff every day, adding more industrial-sized piping alongside all the fresh water we were trying to pull in. When everything else failed, good old petrochemicals still did their job. We must have pumped so much lead into the air, into the zone, for it, for it to scramble into the omelet it was forever making of our world. I guess that was about the time more and more animal life was dying off. God, did we just make things even worse? I mean, yeah, obviously. Hurricane Squall. Oh, it is an anomaly. A sudden and dramatic change in atmospheric pressure has produced powerful but extremely localized winds. Be careful. This could be extremely dangerous. Yes, we discovered that firsthand. So we're just going to head up this road and hit that gateway. And if it's too close, wait, will it actually tell us now? No. Okay, so I think we're good. Let's head up there. We've got half a tank, which should be enough to get out of this place. I'm sure it's not going to be that easy, but maybe we'll have an easy one for a change. Maybe. I'm resisting my natural inclination to honk the horn, just because I don't want to upset any of the anomalies. Oh no. Oh no. I misread the map. Oh yeah, it says it's too close. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's turn around. I see. So there needs to be a certain amount of extreme tension when you go for one of the gateways. So we're gonna just go back down this road a little until that thing turns yellow. Okay, turned yellow. Okay, now we're gonna turn around. So I must have gotten lucky that other time I redid mission one where I was like right there. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay, storm warning. Let's go. Go, 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 go. 
Okay, drive. We're driving. We're driving. Okay, I think we're gonna make it this time, unless something really bad happens between here and that beam. Which, you know, of course, is what this whole game is about. But I think we're, we're, we're much better positioned than we were before. Or any, any previous time. So, you know, I may suck at video games, but I do learn. I learn slowly, but I do learn. Wow, look at that, the distance. The stability, that blue and red. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Here we go. Yes, yes. I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. We made it. Boom. Very nice. That was an hour and 21 minutes. Which is perfect timing because my dog just walked I, up to me. I owe you an apology. I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. The things yeah, I, I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. It's okay, but I'll now, be. knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. Okay. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And okay, I will. your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. Okay. Thanks. Okay, see, we're going to move everything to the transfer trunk. Uh, including... Oops, just hit my desk. Including this hand back. No, that's a broken hand back. We'll move this over. And there we go. And in fact, um, we are going to do the post-mission stuff when we come back. Because my dog needs me right now. So thank you so much for your support. I uh, love you very much. Please remember to have your pet spayed or neutered.